Hello, and today I'm going to be showing you how to boot your Windows 11 PC into safe mode. So there's three different methods that I'm going to show you today. The first one is fairly easy. Uh, if you are able to log in and you just want to boot in safe mode to troubleshoot some problems, what you want to do is go ahead and click on the start menu here and then type in the search bar just the word run. So go ahead and type in run uh, and bring up that application there. And then once here in the dialog box, I want you to type in msconfig. So M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G and hit enter or click OK. And then once you've done that, uh, you will be presented with the system configuration panel here. And you want to go to the boot tab, which is uh, two or three over here. And then you're going to see boot options. So under boot options at the bottom here, we want to select safe boot and then just leave this selected as minimal. Now, in order for this to, uh, you know, take effect, you have to click the apply button here and then OK. Once you do this, it will then prompt you to restart your PC. When you do, it will automatically boot into safe mode. Do not click anything on your keyboard or do any of that. It'll automatically boot into safe mode. Now, the second way of booting into safe mode on Windows 11 is to go to your start menu. And then what you want to do is go to your power button here where you normally shut your machine down or restart the PC. And what you want to do is hold down the shift key. So if you hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then go ahead and click the power button, what you're going to see is the normal options here. But if you have the shift key held down and you click restart, it will automatically boot you into safe mode. So again, hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click restart and that will boot you into safe mode. Now, once you've done this and it begins to restart, you're going to see these next dialog boxes be presented to you. Because I'm using a screen recorder, I'm going to throw up the screenshots from the Windows website. So you're gonna see this option here where it says choose an option, uh, continue, use a device, troubleshoot, and turn off your PC. We want to select the troubleshoot option. So go ahead and go to troubleshoot here. And then under troubleshoot, go ahead and go to advanced options as your next selection. Then here, what we want to do is go to startup settings. So go ahead and click on startup settings. It's going to say restart to change windows options such as uh, enable safe mode. And that's the one that we want. And then you just click the restart button there underneath all of those options. And then once you've done that, you'll be presented with nine or 10 things that you can do. If you just go ahead and click the F4 key on your keyboard, it'll automatically begin the reboot into safe mode. And that's how you do it by holding shift and clicking the restart button from the start menu on your PC. All right, and the final method to booting into safe mode is what they call the fail safe mode. So basically, if you're not able to boot into Windows at all to do the previous two methods, what you would do is you just try to turn your PC on once, it fails, turn it on twice, again, it fails, the third time, it will automatically give you the option to boot into safe mode. And then you would just follow exactly the steps that I just gave you. You would, you would go to troubleshoot, and then you would go to advanced options, and then go to startup settings, and then just you know hit F4 to boot into safe mode. That will probably present itself, but sometimes it'll just automatically boot to safe mode if it fails twice going on that third time. So those are the three ways to boot into safe mode. If you have any questions about doing this or you're having problems, please put those in the comment section below. I'll get to those as soon as I can. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if this helped you out. And I will see you guys in the next video.